21st century superhuman And I know that the answers are inside Yeah, I am a 21st century superhuman Now, now, now is the time Come, come Come on, everyone, let's celebrate. We are the children of the sun. I can see you when I look into your eyes. We are the same, and we are light, and we are one. Hear now, hear my ancient prayer and sing along. We are awakening as one. We can make a difference, yeah, we can be the change it takes to make the world a lot more fun. Well, if you're feeling kind of down and you need some inspiration to remember who you are, oh, now, child, please don't frown. You can choose a new vibration and these words can take you far. First century superhuman and I know that the answers are inside. Hi there, I'm Carrie Ellis, author of 21st Century Superhuman, and this is our 21st Century Superhuman show. Today I have with me my friend Timothy Telemond. Tim, welcome, and I'm really glad to have you back again because we did a couple of very cool videos earlier on on Thunder God Vine and cleaning up our DNA. We'll put the links for those videos under this one. But how are you today? Uh, I'm doing great, Carrie. Um, um, thanks for the, doing the follow up show. You know, thanks for, you know, caring enough to check on, you know, what's going on over here. Appreciate right. It. Yeah. And you've had a lot of amazing changes with your own personal health. And I know we've been talking over what, probably at least five years, I think, if not longer. Yeah. Five or six we're actually years. getting to be old friends. Yeah. yeah getting to be old friends. And uh, yeah. so tell us a little bit, that beautiful plant behind your head is Thunder God Vine. Okay. It grows in Malaysia. Well, Korea and Vietnam. It was discovered by Charles Wilford uh, during the turn of the century. Uh, there was reports of miraculous healing and anti-aging from this plant. Basically, uh, a group put together to investigate. Uh, the gentleman that headed it up was uh, Wil uh, James Wilford. He brought his findings, uh, you know, back to the Royal Botanical Garden, and uh, I believe that's how the plant has its name. That's uh, it's basically uh, Tryptorigium Trypt wilfordi hook. That's actually the full mm, name. I love it. Yeah. So he basically disclosed everything. I think we all know that there was ageless societies that were in Vietnam. In other yes. words, there was that the uh, the melee massacre. They reported that there was no old people. James Wolford's findings, he made the report. Uh, he gave it to the uh, uh, the Botanical Garden, the Royal Botanical Garden. And normally that, sh that information is shared with all the other gardens, you know. Uh, right. In this case, the information was not shared. And Wow. Uh, this plant remained hidden to the public and the world. And all the information uh, James Wolford had uncovered just remained under wraps. So then you fast forward. Christopher was, Reeves kind of rediscovered it, right? When he, after he had his um, horseback yeah, riding well, accident. I do, what I do know is I read the studies myself. Right. Uh, that were published. So, so at what point did you decide to begin um, importing and sharing thunder god vine with people yourself i read i read his study um i imported it for my condition which was basically uh, anterior uveitis which if folks don't know uh that's the second leading cause of blindness in the united states and probably the world it's in a way similar to ms it's basically the nerve deteriorates from the inside until you lose that connection then there's it, then it's a tear on the back of your eye and you lose your eyes right there. Mm -hmm. So I had read the Christopher Reeve study, and uh, it basically said that this herb reduced and or eliminated uh, potentially. And, you know, I got to say anecdotal because you know, I'm telling the story. So I, I read this. There's a, there's a term for basically inflammation of the nervous system. Uh, it, reversed, it reversed that inflammation. I was able to get the, the herb in solid wood form. 
and I chopped it up and that was originally how I made it and it helped my wow. own. Wow. Wow. And were you right. making tea out of it or powdering it and taking it? Well, the very first time it was literally, you know, me breaking equipment, trying to chop up something very hard. Uh huh. So I broke, you know, you know, like the, uh, the coffee makers and the, you know, the bullet machines, you know, I broke a whole bunch of equipment, but I, I did what I had to do for my eye and I couldn't find a reliable source or any source in the United States. Wow. And I knew my eye felt different. I knew I felt some improvement. It wasn't linear. It was almost like, you know, uh, there was inflammation, but then there was a drop. There was right. inflammation, and, but the drop, it was almost like a staircase going down. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, so I, I, I tell the public this because sometimes, you know, you could be doing something building an immune response, not realizing that that's yeah. sometimes it makes you tired. So, you know, everybody has their own. Well, well initially, yeah. initially, you're always going to feel better because you're initially going to kill bacteria. But then what's going to happen is your body's going to clean that up. And then right. when it's it up, it's going to try to generate an immune response, which is going to require energy. Right. So now the next cycle, you might be feeling a little bit tired. Right. You know? I think a lot of folks, you know, get off the, oh. if you get off your destination before the train before you reach your destination, you're never going to get there. Right. And, you know, you have to Very realize, nice. you know, that, you know, the immune system is, is really nice. And what the, you know, they'll tell you if you have cancer and I just went, I'm just going through this with my dad right now. So it's going to exponentially grow. What they don't tell you is that if you start winning that battle, that now you have say 1% less cancer cells. And now you have, you know, 10% more immune cells. Right. So now what they don't tell you is that that same exponential phenomena occurs in a good way. Right. And it happens every day and people aren't even aware of it within their own bodies. I mean, your body's, you know, every day taking in toxins, you know, you're drinking chlorine, you're getting exposed to aluminum, yeah. you're cleaning all the time and you're generating right. immune response all the time. Right. And you're winning 99% of the time. You're only aware of it when you're losing. And that's when you got to get smart about everything. So mm -hmm. I want to try to help with it's, that. We always notice when we're in pain. And a lot of times we don't notice when we've gotten better. And that's a really yeah. nice distinction to make. What I like to come back to though, is you were getting the Woody Thunder God vine. And so then, then, yeah, so then, so then I, I, I said, I want to bring it into the country. So right. I, I did try to bring it into the country and the first shipment went haywire. And You've really been a pioneer in this. And I really applaud you for your your diligence in continuing onward to bring it forward. And Taxol was the commercial name for Thunder God Vine as a quote unquote cancer fighter. Mm -hmm. And they never really um, marketed that to the general public. Now, Taxol is a different version of Thunder God Vine. Right. Now, Thunder God Vine actually is um, in the lineage of the yew tree, won the, the battles of the 1400s in England, the long bow, you know, the uh -huh. the, yew the yew tree, right. Yep, yep, yep. That same yew tree is in um, Afghanistan and there was a road to it and the road got completely destroyed in the Afghan war. And all of that happened the exact moment that the patent for tax hall expired. Mm -hmm. So imagine that, ta that that patent expired and now this version of a very powerful FDA herb. approved herb is now available to the whole world and there's a road to it and these trees are immense because it's not the it's not the vine version of the same lineage ah. okay it's a tree okay so you harvest the bark uh -huh. okay so so um and i tried to make that no i don't know what happened with the aid study because they never published the results of the aid study with at the at, at the national institute of health because the study was ongoing since the first time you and I talked and right. then not published the results. Well, well let's go on to how you, how you started getting the Thunder God Vine. In. I mean, I've been taking Thunder God Vine since the first time you and I spoke. I've right. never stopped. Right. Um, and you've had tremendous done, changes in your health, right? In your blood work, okay. right? Eventually, health-wise, it didn't just improve my stamina, my eyesight, my skin, um, you know, the Lyme's disease. Um, and I, I, I brought my medical records here. I mean, I have them, but I'm just going to, you know, just for the sake of time, you know, the, the Lyme's disease showed up as um, that I was vaccinated for the Lyme's. Okay. 
Um, I just got bit by a tick. I was telling you, I'm not worried about it because I've been through it so many times. You know, your immune system is, when you start to have confidence in, in your immune system, because you're always building it up and you've been building right. it up for years, you know, you, you don't worry so much. Back to the beginning, yes, bringing it in, uh, my uh, intuition improving, my medical records improving, my teeth. Didn't you have some kind of a cancerous, uh, precancerous thing on your back? Yeah, yeah, I have, um, I have an MRI here uh, that um, in the beginning, uh, I had uh, a, fr a close friend that had uh, breast cancer that went to bone cancer and it was very sad. And I did the exact opposite that she did. As soon as I found out that uh, there was um, a growth on my spine, I canceled my insurance and put everything, <laughs> everything I had into the herbs. And that's when I really got heavily into it. And I really started bringing you know, a lot of product in and I started getting a uh, stronger product brought in. And that's when I went to the 30 to one product. And um, that's basically uh, concentrating more product to basically improve the product in, in, in many ways. So I started doing that because, you know, I knew I had some serious issues uh, that I still had to contend with aside from the eye and aside from the, the Lyme disease. And plus I was diabetic. Right. So, you know, when you're, when you're diabetic, that's, that's, you know, that's like almost having a couple strikes against you before you even start. And fighting. so your medical records at this point show that you're completely clear of everything, right? right. My A1C cleared up. Uh, I also had an early report of having uh, cataracts. Uh -huh. uh, I just got my. So you're kind of just in the good old all American deterioration syndrome when you I was going out. through everything that everybody's going through right yeah, now. Yeah, right. I mean, it's I, I'm, I'm, I'm 55 now, but when this started five years ago, I was just hitting my 50s. Mm -hmm. Right. And I was going through every six, basically everything that most folks go through at that time. Uh, I mean, some people hit it a little bit later, but, you know, a lot of people hit it in their 40 to 50 range. You know, I think uh, Sylvester Stallone said, no, the 40s were easy, but the 50s, I don't know, they're pretty tough. You yeah. know? So I was hitting the 50s and I was hit, hitting the wall. And, but the eye thing was the thing that bothered me. I was kind of mentally prepared for all of the, you know, the arthritis and the yeah. joint. Right. Initially, yeah. you were using the Thunder God vine. And then you started a, a blend where you've added other herbs to it. What I also learned was that Thunder God Vine has the ability to look at, science classifies it, and we, had a, we did a show on HDAC inhibition. Right. Um, and uh, since then, I did some more research on it, and I studied uh, a gentleman by the name of Luke, who has a PhD in water, discovering the AIDS virus, and He's very vocal on the coronavirus right now, and he's saying a lot of things that make a lot of sense. I, he's an old enough guy that he doesn't care what uh -huh. they do to him, and he's already got his fame, and he's just a truther. You know? right. So he's from France. He won the, so if you put in Nobel Laureate, France, Water Memory, or AIDS, you can see his videos on YouTube. Uh, nice. I, I recommend watching his, his Water Memory. And what's his name again? His last name is Luke. I think it's L-U-C. Okay. Um, and um, his water memory is excellent because he doesn't just talk about DNA and water memory and all the things that I think are paramount. Right. Uh, what, he, what he shows is that when you take one segment of DNA and you dilute it to where that one segment is the equivalent dilution as one segment per the entire ocean, you get a magnification of frequency, which makes no sense to anyone. Uh -huh. okay. and, and everybody was shocked to get this information. What, what, what he's really discovered is that when you have a small amount of DNA for that large amount of water, that DNA somehow hits resonance mm. and it's, and it's amplified. It's, it's homeopathic at the DNA level understood by uh -huh. a high level scientist. And what he's done is he's basically been able to imprint uh, a DNA strand, save it in a computer and send it, he sent it to Italy in, in the water memory video. And it, and that DNA was be able, was able to be reconstructed out of thin water. I would say thin air, but I'm saying pure water. Right. Uh, just from the energy signature that he sent through the phone line. And so how would you connect that with Thunder God Vine? Well, the reason I find that interesting was because at the end of his video, he says, I always suspected that AIDS was a bacteria. Mm. So now he drills in because he's got very high level magnification capacities to right. be able 
look at this water memory experiment, okay? Mm -hmm. Which he took over from a friend who had uh, perished, which he basically questioned how the friend had perished. Right. Okay. So, because you realize that once you have the frequencies that correct DNA, there is no pharmaceutical industry. It's all energy. Yes. Right. right. Okay. So you can see why his friend, you know, yes. disappeared. Um, I find it very interesting because he actually puts an image of showing this little blob of interference, energy interference, which he's saying is eight. Uh-huh. Okay? So people think of bacteria as these big, giant organisms. Right. They don't think of bacteria as really what it is, which is circular DNA. Uh -huh. you, get, you can have a very tight, tight, small circular DNA mm -hmm. that can lock in and that can mess up the frequency or interfere with the frequency of your DNA. Mm -hmm. okay. You so, feel that Thunder God Vine cleans up the DNA so well, it can properly read yeah what's well, in my body yes and 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 then to answer your question i think better than on earlier videos is that i think not only that but i think it's i think that the higher or the more deeper understanding of thunder god vine is that it's more of an antibacterial uh -huh. than i previously understood mm -hmm. okay because i really view now the hdac bonds uh -huh. that it, that, it, that uh, they describe as it breaking as very uh, low level or very small level uh, uh, size-wise bacterial uh, infection. HDAC inhi inhibition is the ability to uh, relax the DNA, unwind uh -huh. it, and look at the DNA to see if there's any disease in, in it. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a relaxing factor. Wow. So, so, so there's a so so the reason I think Thunder God Vine is interesting is because it does make uh, DNA. It almost is like a microsurgeon. It basically unravel. It actually performs surgery. It kind of relaxes the DNA, sees where the problems are, and it does its little microsurgery. But it's beyond microsurgery. Wow. It's subatomic, right? You look. So like people say to me, well, why don't you believe in surgery? I'm like, I do. Right. I believe I believe in plant surgery. I believe uh -huh. in. I, be, I believe in, you know, nature's nature nature. surgery, right? Mm -hmm. right, right, right. So, um, and pharmaceuticals, people think are so advanced, but they don't realize that they're just taking a segment out of a plant, right? Mm -hmm. And which is called a compound. Mm -hmm. Okay. Almost every single time I look at, uh, you know, any, anything in pharmaceutical, if I look at the compounds within that drug mm -hmm. and I search the, just those compounds, I'll be able to pull back to the plant that has that compound in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. The difference is, say I were, say were, I were to sing a song and I were to go, ah, right. But if I were to go, do, re, mi, fa, so, you know, but if I just go, so, you know, it's not as pleasant. You right. know what I mean? It's, it's out of sequence energy, right? Right. So if you don't start from the beginning and end at the end, as far as the sequence of that energy ladder, which is the DNA of that living organism, which mm -hmm. all things are designed to heal everyone, okay? Right. The energetic fields, every single plant, and they all started, you know, uh, let's call it chorus, pre-chorus, you know, um, bridge, outro. You know, that's why every song is written that way. That's successful, you know, right. every hit song, okay? Because there's a structure. There's a structure uh -huh. to all things. So pharmaceuticals take like one compound out and now you have out of sequence energy. So now just think of like an energy packet. It's kind of like hanging loose ends and they've got to be resolved. So mm -hmm. those things basically become side effects. Mm -hmm. That's why they don't know what the side effects are going to be within it. Wow. Because different people have like what we were talking about before with, you know, we want to do a different show on, you know, DNA mathematically. Right. And mm -hmm. how, right. Uh, and the one, two, four, eight, seven, five doubling circuit, right? But uh, which is vortex math, which people can look up vortex math and get up to speed on that before they see our next show because it'd be better. But um, so now you have this energy that's out of sequence and your body has to reconcile. Okay. So but you can still have out of sequence energy in the form of a phar pharmaceutical. So I really view pharmaceuticals out of sequence energy. Let's go into how you made the multi herbal formula. And you've okay. been involved with people who are doing live blood cell analysis and you've been able to see results. I so, have my report on that as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think that the movie, The Matrix, is true. 
I think that, you know, you throw a field, your eyes are actually more negative than the outside of your, your, your Corona, um, that we're basically walking vacuum energy reactors that the core itself is a vacuum energy reactor. Yes. The, this chalk that has 51 herbs in it, like we were saying, and it's scrumptious. It's wonderful. And, you know, you don't have to force yourself to eat something healthy. It's really like candy. Um, this is like the next evolution of, in my research and trying to understand the DNA of plants, understand, you know, the structure of the universe geometrically. And it allows you to pick up when you look at a plant, what you're looking at energetically. You know, we got an email from, from um, someone about a dogwood plant and we were all praying about my dad. And we were looking for a plant that would help with myoplasma because of course my dad had gotten the injection which is where his immune system went haywire because, you know, my dad's had cancer since you and I started talking and he's, he's well over the 99.9% .9 survival rate of lung cancer because normally people don't live over five years and he, he's lived well over five years with it. Nice. Um, and that was fine. And he still would be fine. But for some, whatever reason, uh, they said that it had come back in an area and we said, fine, we're, we're going to, we're going to up our game on the herbs, which we did, which is why this chocolate is here. Uh, the cancer started shrinking again. Okay. So we got the vaccination. He listened to the doctors because my dad, and I'm not blaming my dad for listening to the doctors because my dad's a great man. He served the country. So he listened to them and he, he got the vaccination. Uh, and then three weeks later, the doctors gave us a report that the uh, cancer had quadrupled out of nowhere and that they gave him four days to live. Wow. I could not believe it. I, the family was, was, was celebrating that the cancer had shrunk and everybody was so happy. And then, so anyway, my dad just could never wrap his head and to wrap his mind around a government that he served, a country that he served would do, would have or allow anything to get into the general population that would not be good for you. And I don't fault him for that because he shouldn't have to wrap his mind around that. He shouldn't have to think that after serving his country. He should not have to. And that's, and that's what's going on right now, in my opinion. I don't think that, you know, I'm the only one. Think so, so you gave your dad some of your chocolate? We did, the, and there was, there was the, a remission. And the, and the hospital, well, they sent him back with, you know, the hospice nurses and some, you know, drugs that basically once you start taking them, they shut down the, um, the innate immune, immune system, which people might not even be aware of, but you have your innate immune system is basically your bacterial immune system, which is your gut and your, your, your you know, your, your stomach and your, your, your upper intestine, your, you know, your, your, endoc your, your lower intestine all the way down. But there's bacteria that, that basically, there's good bacteria and bad bacteria. And of course you want all good bacteria. When you start taking these painkillers, um, they, they, uh, they basically wipe, wipe out the good bacteria. Um, so you don't have that, that initial immune response. I don't even want to say the painkiller that my dad's on. Well, yes. people can look up, you know, the the M word and what it does to the immune response at the NIH, at the National Institute of Health, because our own government does publish it. They explain that it shuts down the innate immune system, which is what I just described, and the adaptive immune system. It's probably means, one reason that hospice uses it to help people exit. You, before I understood the details, as a wonderful organization, caring, allowing people to whatever disease, you know, I don't view any disease as uncurable at, at this point. Okay. I believe in mismanagement of disease. I don't believe the Lord it's who created all things on earth, uh, made it to where any problem is not solvable. I no longer have that, you know, wonderful, happy view about that because why would they choose that painkiller when there's so many other ways to uh, manage pain? that don't shut down the, both the innate immune system and the adaptive immune system. Certain painkillers take those out. So now you have no adaptive immune response, which you would be even getting from your bacteria. So the information from your bacteria that would be helping your adaptive immune. So now you could be pouring the best herbs in the world in, into someone and it's just gonna be neutralized, neutralized. Killed going in, neutralized on the backside, ending the whole feedback loop, you don't have a chance. I mean, very few get out of that, that loop. Plus it's addictive, so you can't get out of the addiction. So, you know, I'm really sad about that personally. I have these amazing herbs. Um, one is the Thunder God Vine. Um, that's what you originally started out with. Um, and we're actually gonna have an affiliate link to your products at my website really soon.
Then you took the Thunder God vine and you made flawless defense. Other, it includes 22 other herbs. And, it's, herb, and, and, then there, and then there's the flawless shield, which has almost the same amount. And, and then the chocolate basically and combined all of those defense and the shield into one product because we wanted to basically give my father everything that we could. Right. And so and you made the chocolate. Which is the chocolate, the chocolate pieces. Right. Can you show us a chocolate piece again? Yeah, yes, yes. Um, so this has been so wonderful and that we we're, we're, we want to commercialize it. Right. And so I, I can't even imagine because a lot of these herbs as a standalone are very bitter, you know, bitter, strong, uh, you know, very astringent, you know. And you eat I the mean, chocolate and you can't even tell it, they're there. Right. It, you cannot tell at all. It's, it's amazing. It tastes just like, you know. I want to say Swiss chocolate. Somebody might say, well, how dare you? I mean, that's such a high level. Chocolate. I mean, it really tastes that good. I mean, it's, uh -huh. I mean, it, I, I'd like to see what other people think, but I mean, I'm not saying it because I want to try to promote my product. I'm saying, it cause it's true. It really tastes that good to me. Right. Like I, I swear. I can't believe mm -hmm. how good it tastes. So, so I got to hold myself back from eating all the, you know, too much product at once. Cause it just cause of the taste, you know? Right. That's exciting. Yeah. That's so, really, yeah, really so, cool. Yeah, so, you know, it, it basically is a dark chocolate. It doesn't use any uh, artificial flavorings or um, preservatives. It uses uh, raw cocoa as raw cocoa butter, uh, salt from the Dead Sea, which is nice. uh, really, really good salt. Vanilla bean, which is also an antibacterial, has a lot of positive you know, healing properties onto itself. And uh, monk fruit, which is a sweetener. Oh it, yeah, I use it, monk fruit all the time. I love it. Sure, sure. And monk fruit, it, it has its own antibacterial properties and it's a sweetener. So there's no sugars. Um, and so, so it's those ingredients with all these herbs. And it's just that we got the formulation right on the whole enchilada that it just tastes really good. Yes. And then, and then all the, all those, all those herbs, you know, with the taste of the cocoa, the raw cocoa. Um, and so that's, um, that's it. But I actually, now that I uh, went through this, you know, with the family and all, I want to come out with uh, another product just for pain. I want to, I want to basically group all the plants that are known for pain relief. Pain. Uh-huh. Got it. No. Nice. Good. So I want to, I want to do that. Uh, I'm going to have some help, but we're going to set up a, a Kickstarter. Uh, at this stage, everything that I've been through, uh, the taste, the want the, to get the public to want to eat herbs. Also, I think that chocolate's a great delivery mechanism because it's an alkaloid and it really helps, I think, the body absorb a lot of the herbs. You know, the, the chocolate, which um, we, we've already um, prototyped, we've already uh, had a lot of people test it. We're going to do a, um, but as far as the company's uh, next steps, um, I've been through a lot personally. Uh, you know, I've grown a lot. I've been through a lot of battles health-wise, but now that I'm beyond that, uh, I want to bring the company to the next level based on what we've learned, uh, which is basically bringing us to this chocolate, which I've been working on on the sideline for many years. And so now to make chocolate, you got to have a lot of things happening at the same time. Okay. Because everybody knows it's got to be refrigerated, that it's a big deal to make chocolate uh, in, in, in bulk. And then when you combine a lot of different herbs with it, you know, you really have to have a lot going on and you got to have a lot of inventory in bulk to be able to make it uh, and still keep all the other things going that you have going on. Uh, so uh, we're going to do a Kickstarter program for that. Uh, I'm excited about it. Um, we're going to offer uh, good incentives for people that, you know, jump on board with the Kickstarter as far as product. So they're going to get they're, they're going to get product at a discount when the products are released. Nice. You know, Kickstarter. It. So it's going to be. So they're going to get they're going to get their money plus double what it's worth, um, and the whole idea is basically to crowdfund something that's going to help the crowd, hmm. everyone, humanity. Um, I've been through a lot, like we were we we're chatting, um, and I just you know want to put my foot down in a way, but I can't do it alone. I want everybody to put their foot down with me, and I'm you know there's a lot of people doing a lot of things, but this is just one person you know, trying to do something uh, with the Thunder God vine and bring that and some other herbs to the next level. 
Recently, uh, I've, I've got a lot of interest in uh, the dogwood tree. Uh, so if somebody this, was interested in stepping up and um, helping yeah. you with the chocolate and the other blends, you'd be interested in that. Yeah. Th this was awesome, Tim. Thank you so much yeah. for sharing about the chocolate, the herbs, your personal life, your family, your personal experience. That's really, you um, know, it's really being vulnerable. It's sharing our hearts and our souls with each other with humanity so that we can learn together how to um, improve our health, improve our experience here. So right. I want right. to thank you so much. You're always just a bright light. And I know you're, there's a lot of brilliance in there and sometimes it's hard to get it all out in one stream because there's so much that you know and just to limit it down to the little things you can share. But I just want to thank you so much for being here with us today. Uh, thank you, Karen. Uh, I, don't, I, I, uh, I appreciate the, the time. Okay. All right. We'll see you uh, soon. Thank, thank much you. love to everybody. Remember to breathe, smile, and love. Yes. And if you're feeling kind of down and you need some inspiration to remember who you are, And these words can take you far I am a 21st century superhuman And I know that the answers are inside I am a 21st century superhuman Now, now, now is the time